Hi YouTube! In this video I want to talk about a really amazing product that I think is quite underrated and I hope that through this video if you have been thinking about this product you are moved in a positive way. So I like to keep my product in the bottle in the box that it came in because it is air sensitive and UV sensitive. This is what it looks like. It comes in a um, amber bottle that is protective of of UV to some extent. It has 30 mils of product in it. It has this very, um, it looks like, it looks like an oil but it isn't really oily or greasy. I know some of the comments on the website said it was greasy but I don't agree. I think it's very lightweight but keep, keep in mind that I have dry skin so. It sinks in very quickly. It does not feel slippery and slide, like it doesn't slide around or anything. It has a very fish oil kind of um, look to it. It has, manganese products typically have like that color, so it doesn't surprise me. Going into this product, this is, um, it only has two ingredients. What, the first ingredient in the highest concentration is propane diol, which is used as a solubilizing, um, chemical and also as a filler. Uh, propane dial actually also helps with penetration. Uh, the other compound is ethyl bisamino methyl guacol manganese chloride which is the EUK134. It is a synthetic compound. It mimics structurally um, the SOD which is superoxide dismutase and, cat and has catalase activity. I just hope that if there's anybody out there who hesitates using this product because it's synthetically made, I hope you know that our skin and the cells in our body cannot differentiate between a compound that is made synthetically as opposed to a compound that's made naturally. If there is a compound A made by plants and there's a compound A that was made in a lab, the only way to compare them is using carbon dating. That's the one that I'm most like, that's the one that comes to my mind. Maybe there's other techniques. Our skin and our body isn't smart enough to differentiate them. And there is no fragrance in this. There is nothing harmful in this. So I hope that you are not afraid of using this because it is synthetically made. Our skin naturally has superoxide dismutase. Our skin naturally has catalase. Um, and so does the rest of our body and it really helps with oxidative stress. This product is very extraordinary that I haven't seen in other products and that is that not only does it work while it's, you know, on your skin, but it works continuously. So it doesn't get deactivated through the day. So our skin already has superoxide and catalase, but the levels of catalase actually decrease with continued and frequent sun exposure. Our skin, when it's exposed to UV light, it, um, it produces oxygen radicals and these oxygen radicals convert to hydrogen peroxide and oxygen with the help of superoxide dismutase, which we already have on our skin. And then it converts to water and oxygen through the catalase. So I'm just going to show you, I just drew this on a piece of paper just because it's easier to explain without like trying to find graphics and putting it on my, in, into my video. So this is a, this is an oxygen radical. The lone pair of electron is what makes it a radical. Converts into hydrogen peroxide and oxygen with superoxide dismutase. The catalase converts it to water and oxygen. The unique thing about this is that you don't have to use this only in the mornings. You can also use this at night after you've had sun exposure. So it's both preventative and reparative. And it impresses me that it's so affordable and easily accessible to us here in Canada. I would recommend that it, when you purchase this, keeping it in the bottle and only using it when you need it can help eliminate further UV exposure and oxygen exposure. I use this in the morning as my first step 
I wash, I come out of the shower and I pat my face dry and then I apply this onto my skin. I rub it in and then I put on my sunscreen and that's it. I keep my morning skincare routine very simple. It shocks me in fact that I've been able to do this because I love elaborate skincare routines. But there are a lot of limitations to this product, particularly that it cannot be used with any acid. So um, salicylic acid, lactic acid, what else is there? Glycolic acid, vitamin C. I wouldn't use this with, definitely not with azelaic acid and benzoyl peroxide. Azelaic acid is dicarboxylic acid, it's oxygen rich. And benzoyl peroxide is a peroxide, so it is the exact opposite of what you should use with this because it will really make your skin very irritated if you do. You can use this with niacinamide, you can use this with pycnogenol, also retin-A, retinol, retinol. Do not use this in the same routine uh, as we're using any vitamin A or vitamin A derivatives. If you're a minimalist, this is a fantastic product because not only is it effective, affordable that you can use long term. Antioxidants are not known for giving immediate long lasting effects. They give long term effects. So this is a long term investment in terms of a long term in investment for a 8.8 Canadian dollars bottle that lasts me for three months, I think that's a very decent investment. In terms of immediate effects, it helps a lot with redness. My skin didn't turn red when I went into the sun prior to using tretinoin. Since I've been using tretinoin, my skin does get red very easily even though I wash it off in the morning. I use tretinoin at night. The biggest impact I saw was after using glycolic acid. So what I do with glycolic acid, also by The Ordinary, is I take a cotton pad, I swipe, I put um, glycolic acid toning solution onto the cotton pad and I swipe it over my face, leave it on for two minutes because it's too much for me to just leave it on my skin overnight. And then I wash it off. I wash off the glycolic acid and my skin still feels very hot. And I go on with the EUK134 and it calms it down so quickly, so effectively, it like blew my mind at how quickly it works. So it works on redness and it works on um, like tiny red bumps that you get from like a rash. But that is not to say use this unimpaired skin because I don't know what will happen. Not that it's not safe. It is acne skin friendly, it's dry skin friendly, it's for all skin types. However, I cannot guarantee that you won't have any breakouts after using this because I, I just don't know. I think that um, a lot of you might, might think that this is a product that is hard to use because it doesn't let you have an elaborate skincare routine, but honestly, I think at some point you kind of just want to keep things simple and that's that's the stage that I've come to. I like to keep my skincare routine in the morning simple. I hope that more of you guys look into this because I don't know, I just I really hope that other people see the benefit that I'm seeing and other people who struggle with acne scars and hyperpigmentation can see the benefit that I see. I have seen positive effects from using this product and I hope to continue using this. I hope they don't change the formulation, even though they've recently been bought over by Estee Lauder. It kind of breaks my heart. So if nothing changes, I will keep using this product because it's amazing. And if you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Thank you.